Hello, my name is George McGeeky. Recently I was asked how to change the property that is displayed in the middle of a relationship in a conceptual diagram in Power Designer Web. For example, here's a model I've been working on illustrating part of uh, the model from Steve Hoberman's book, The Rose Data Stone. And we can see here, I've got this relationship from supplier to ingredient. And I'm only showing here the role name, supplier provide ingredient be available from. I'm only showing those role names, I'm not showing the actual relationship name here. Whereas here in Power Designer Web, the same diagram in the same model is showing as well as those two role names, it's showing the relationship name. And I was asked, well, why is that and what can I do about it? And the reason why it's like that is because the rules about managing display preferences are different in Power Designer Web. In the client, which we were looking at a minute ago, you set the preferences per diagram. In Power Designer Web, they're set per model and it has its own preferences. So even though this model was checked in from the client, it could have different display preferences. So here is the simple way of doing that. At the moment, I'm not editing the diagram. So I need to click on the edit button, top right. I am now in edit mode. I have my relationship selected. I could select this other one down here, which has obviously got the name in the middle of it there. It's uh, called cookie contain ingredient. And uh, what I'm going to do is move up to the toolbar at the top here and click on content settings. Here I can see the content I could have, or do have, sorry, on the left on the relationship. And here's what's in the middle of the line. If I select that middle part, I get a list of properties. And I can you can see I can put quite a lot of different things in here. But what we want to do today is make sure nothing displays here. So I'm going to change it to none. Then I want to make sure it applies to everything in the model. So it's now the default, which means this checkbox in the bottom left here has to be checked. And I click on OK. And now it's done. Let's have a look at this one. Pull it down. Let's see what it's done. Yep. See, that one is definitely only showing the two role names. I'll quickly undo that. It's so simple, really. One of my shortest videos ever, ever. If you're interested in buying Power Designer and you're in the UK particularly, please call Mike Evans at Cromver to discuss your requirements. You can go onto my blog at metadatamatters.com. You can email me and you'll probably find this video on YouTube. I might put it on my blog. Who knows where you might find it. Thank you. Goodbye.